There you go. Um, where's this going, though? Oh, that goes into that room, doesn't it? Finally, we're here. But she can't go in, right? The door is locked. It's too solid. I can't force it open. I need the code to open it. Do you have it? Move the camera to answer. No. Of course you don't have the code. I hesitate giving it to you, but I think it's the only way. Ah, here we get into hacking. Too bad. Uh, I'll take the <clears> risk. <throat> First, you have to access the system under my profile. The left banner contains fields for alias and password. Yes, it does. In the first field, type my name, L. Nichols. I'll spell it. L dot N I C H yes, yes, O yes. L S. Now my password. Oh, wait. I don't remember it. Eurythmia. What the wait, hell does that mean? It's coming back to me. Eurythmia. Can you spell it? E. A tap hole collaborators should have appeared. Click on it. Now click on my profile picture. Done? All right. Now you're in my personal record. The door code should be in it. Memorize it. Now, open the area map and click on the door. The system will prompt you for its code. Enter it. Got it? I'll let you do it. Thank you. Yeah, this is another one of the things I love about the game, is the hacking system. It's really cool, you get to dig around in people's stuff and feel like you're really in an actual computer system, it's just... Are you following me? The yes. The code is in my personal record. You have to enter it after clicking on the door on the map. Oh, I can't wait until we get out of the tutorial thing. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna stop talking and do it because she's just gonna keep annoying me. I get it. You're reading my file. Sure, you're curious, and we've got some time to spare. Yes, I Take am, actually. Take a look at the Eden Project in the shared folders. You'll know more about base activities. Ooh. But don't look too long. Remember, our objective is to retrieve the magnetic card. I'll have to check the public folder. Okay, access code. Um, I'm going to write it down on paper. Believe it or not, I'm actually using paper. It really helps to use paper for this game, and I think that's very cool. You don't often get to use paper for a game. Okay. Did you see everything you wanted? Now find the door code for my personal record and enter it after clicking on the door. Let's roll. Let's roll. Fine. I'll check it later. Uh, two five two five one eight zero oh, three. All right, you opened it. Thanks. <sighs> No problem. Oh wait, no, that's not the door. That's not the place that has the gas. This is the place that we has the gas. Get in there. But how? <clears throat> what in the hell is this? Where am I? Um. What? I can't see her on any of the friggin' cameras. Where is she? Okay, I guess I'm just gonna do this blind. Here, just go in here, so I can see something. There, now I can actually see something. I'll enter my alias and password. You'll find it in my shared folders. Oh, okay. There's a zoom add-on for the camera. It should be here since it wasn't yes. in John's room. Zoom, please. John was a close colleague of Professor Zeitfeld. He often visited the chemical ecology laboratory. All right, we have to get our hands on the add-on. I know she said her login information is in the shared folder or whatever, or public. But I'm going to write them down, actually. So I have them in front of me and I don't have to go <clears throat> digging around. I am going to read that stuff, but not just yet. I want to get more comfortable with the game first. I actually didn't pay attention to what she just said. I hope it wasn't important. What is that? What am I turning on and off? Console? Whoa, what in the hell kind of a camera is that? That thing has a ridiculous field of view, I think. Is it really huge or really tiny? I guess it's really huge. It's super fisheye. What the hell happened to it? 
Oh, she says she said something about a zoom. Was it this? No, that's um, uh, shit. Where was the zoom module? Is it here? Do you have it? Excellent. Have what? And what's this? We'll see to that later. Let's take care of the add-on first. Sounds good. It needs to load. Done. Yes. Zoom. Haha, <laughs> sweet. It. Can you connect yourself to the camera? It should be possible from the area map. Oh, that's what that camera right. is. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa. Jesus. I'm sorry if anyone out there gets sick from... gets motion sickness from games, because this game is probably going to destroy you. This is the robot I was telling you about. But to enable it, ah. we need a code. Professor Zeitfeld must have noted it in his personal record. Let's try to access the system under his profile. Enter the professor's name in the alias field at the top left of the screen. M. Zeitfeld. M. Dot Z. E. I. T. F. E. L. Yeah, now but what about his password. password? Do you have it? No? He had a bad memory, so he wrote it down somewhere for sure. It can't be far. Let's look for it. Alrighty then. Let me write down Zeitfell. I'm gonna fill that in with his password in just a second. Okay. So I'm gonna get to use a bot to go into that room. Like I said, Professor Zeitfell had a very bad memory. Look at each file. Oh my god. His password and access code should definitely be in his sensitive files. Why do they give you that tutorial tip like two seconds after she just told you to do it? As if as if you could have possibly figured it out that fast? Just hold on. Okay, so I can use the scroll wheel to zoom in. In chunks like this, or I can hold down the right mouse button to do it more smoothly. I definitely prefer the scroll wheel. This looks more cinematic, but the scroll wheel is just quicker to use. Woo, 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 woo. Good, now I finally get to look at stuff up close. I love all the details. So many details all over the place. Like I said, Professor Zeitfeld had a very bad memory. Look at each file. His password and access code should definitely be in his sensitive files. Are you serious? Is that it? One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god. Oh, it's not? Is it memoriam then? Is a bad memory and <laughs> could his password be memoriam? What the hell is one two three four five then? Have you found the password? Yep. After you enter it, you'll find the robot code in Professor Zeitfeld's personal record. All right, got his login details written down. But before I do that, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I am going to <clears throat> look around this place. Hello, Leah. Or side of Leah's face. Waiting? Yes. Yes, I am. Stop being so impatient. There's a boat. Perhaps this boat? Maybe. Get some brightness in here. Okay, that doesn't help. That just disorients me further. Here, why don't you come over here? Oh, she's not going to do anything until I figure out the bot, is she? All right, fine. Let's dig into his personal things. Three. Okay, robot. Oh god, I'm gonna have so many things written down. Uh, 
Robot assistant. I love writing down codes and just entering them in. I just love that. I, that probably bores some people, but I really like it. 521A G18. All right. I'm going to have a beautiful piece of paper just completely filled with login informations after this. Laboratory of Chemical Ecology, back of tanker. <clears throat> I want to look at his personal files. Oh, and his mail. I haven't looked at mail yet. Oh, look at all of this. No, oh, I don't have that. Actually, could it be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? Are you serious? Did I just... Oh my god. The access code for his sensitive files was what was up there on the board. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Well, again, some people might be bored by this information, but I am not, so I'm going to read it. Join me if you will. If not, oh well. No, I don't feel like reading everything right now, so I'm just going to go through this personal stuff and read the shared stuff. The general information for the Eden Project later. <clears throat> Oh, I love this information. Hmm. It's written by four different people. <clears throat> oh, it's exuded naturally by adult Tyriades? Tyriades? I don't know how to pronounce that or what that even is. Weak viscosity, blue tint, darkened when in contact with air. Wait a minute. What about her necklace? That is a blue tint. Leah. Leah, I want to look at your necklace. But to do so, it would require closing all of this beautiful information. Or not? Oh, no. Here we go. Wait. Ah. Mmm. I think that's what that is. I think that is hydroxide oxidrin, or something like it, something related to it, maybe. Unre unre uh, unreceptive. Lethal in all cases. Oh, injection is lethal. Inhalation is better tolerated, but anaphylactic shock. Ooh, ouch. Ooh, synthesized. Nice. Suppression of the aging process. Oh man, it sounds like it might be some sort of super drug. No wonder they were trying to develop it. Now what are these grayed out ones? What does that mean? Oh, corrupted. Hmm. What? Hmm. It looks like they might have been trying to use this hydroxide oxygen for war purposes. Improving senses. And apparently they weren't very happy with the army's test. Some of this just doesn't make any sense to me. Many test subjects were lost due to an adapted training program. For this reason, we recommend the creation of a psychological cell... A psychological cell designed for receptor follow-up prior to and after their mission? Psychological cell. They mean a room, right? Not like a cell. Like a human cell? Uh, what? I, I don't know. Whatever.
And they're imposing size. Oh, I guess they're quite large, whatever they are. Bigger than a human. Resemble those of insects. No, apparently their chemical processes liken them more to Hymenoptera than gorillas. I have no idea what Hymenoptera is. But that's another thing I love about this game. They didn't dumb the information down. Which would be absurdly unrealistic if all the information within the scientists' personal files were dumbed down for the layman. That's just not how it would be. It's their own personal files. It would be highly technical and basically impenetrable to an outside observer that isn't a scientist. Which I am not, of course. So that's why it's quite hard to understand sometimes. But that's how I like it. That's how it should be. It makes sense. That's why it feels so damn real. I love the detail they put into this game. Pheromone-based language. Collective intelligence. Huh. <clears throat> oh, and here's a study on their pheromones. Combat Tyriad. Ah, chemistry. All right, well, that means almost nothing to me. That's the personal files. I still have to look at Leah Nicole's personal files and stuff, but I'm going to do that later. Evaluation notes. Against his advice. Hmm. They didn't like her, but apparently the military did. Oh, and apparently changed his view of her. Receptors. So I'm guessing that's what the test subject was, 112. A receptor. <laughs> oh, well. She's also an attractive young woman who seduced me from the start and continues to awaken in many, in many member of the base feelings that I cannot detail appropriately in this forum. What? I think something's been lost in translation there. You... It sounds like he's saying she passively seduced him? But that's not seduction. Whatever. Spies. Paul de Provence. Seriously, I'm going to... Any foreign name in this game, I'm going to just ruin in my pronunciation of it. I'm terrible with names. Hmm, so it looks like there's probably a spy. Oh, and there's 112, which may be myself. And by the way, in, in case anyone's wondering, I'm not, like, pretending to not know what's happening for your benefit. I actually don't really remember what happened in the game. I remember very, very little. I just have, like, vague memories, but I don't remember anything specific. I actually have no idea if I am Subject 112, or John, or whether they're the same person or not. I don't know. Okay, what does this say?
Pass through the Tyriad's doors. What? The Tyriad's have doors? They have... They're a region? Huh? And he disappeared there. Mutating. And apparently Leah was attracted to him. Or me. If that's... If I'm him. Hmm. Oh, yes. Olfactory communication. Tell me more. Alright, so that's pheromone messaging. I can be received and interpreted within a few hundredths of a second? Holy crap. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, apparently they are private. Oh, hello. Give Sector Chiefs official secured employee codes. Ooh. I have the login information for two other people. Oh my god, I could stand I could probably I could probably literally spend somewhere between a half hour to an hour just reading all the information I have available to me. I mean I've got this guy's secret files, I have Leah Nicole's general files, I haven't checked the email system. I have the new login information for two more people, which I'm going to write down right now. Jay Palmer. I'm not gonna read it all right now. I'm sure you would enjoy that, and I don't really feel like it just yet anyway. His password is four characters? John Palmer? Wow. M. Lloyd. Oh, God damn it, Lloyd. Fuck you and your long ass password. What's wrong with you? Now I've got to write it all down. One, one, four, one. One, three, one, four. One three one four five one nine five. Well, I have to admit, it's oops, it's secure. And also, how in the hell does he memorize that? Or does he have it written down too? Okay. Oh, that was his sensitive files. Okay. Let's, um... I want to see what this mail is. What is this? Mail from. Mail from... So this is outgoing? What a... What about his inbox? An audio log. There's audio logs? Oh, that's the audio log of her talking to me. Okay. Oh my god, there's so much information. This game really is information overload. Okay, uh, oldest, newest. Oh, of course. The dates are in day, month, year format. Which makes sense, by the way, because, well... The system we have in America, and I'm not sure if other countries have it as well, but in America we do the month-day-year system, which is complete shit and makes no sense. This system is better, but nonetheless foreign to me, so it's kind of confusing. Pamphlet on pain. Wait, oh, I'm starting... that's the newest. This is the oldest. Oh, 
Oh, that's not good. Restored. Secretive. Oh, it's Leah Nichols. Mm, it looks like the funders are frustrated at a lack of a lack of something from the cheery, yeah, what, what were their names? From their world? Their place? A lack of results of a sort, I guess? Looks like they're resting their hopes on 112. Oh, here's 112. I expect you in my office at exactly 1400 hours for a mutant rodent dissection mandate. That sounds lovely. Pamphlet on pain. Oh, looks like they're having a bit of a pain problem. Hmm. I'm tempted to go into Leah Nicole's stuff and all these other people's stuff, but I think I will... Whoops. I guess I'll get on with this and then look at that later. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Robit access code. I wrote it down so I don't have to go hunting for it. Five two one A G one eight. Right on. A control console should have appeared on the system screen. If not, you can use the keyboard arrows and the space bar. Now we just need to guide the robot to the dissection room. I'm exhausted now and have a terrible headache. Go ahead. Try to take the item from the corpse's hands. I'm going to rest for a minute. Okay. Um, my god, I have a lot of windows. Yeah, this game really is unique and information overload, but also unique. And I will suffer through the information overload and the messing around with windows for its incredible uni uniqueness. There's something incredibly cool about about all of this. I can't even see exactly what's happening. That helps a bit. Alright, I think it's about to open. I don't need this view anymore. Where is this? What's going on? Um, which camera do I want? That's not a bad camera angle. I don't want that one. <clears throat> okay, camera angle, uh, robot camera angle, and then keycard camera angle. Uh, what about this one? Nope, that's not useful. Shit, I lost it. Oh god. Big. Medium. Forwards. <laughs> 